Hi, I'm Derek Taylor, owner operator of Lovells Adelaide. In this particular video, we're going to focus on a hot topic uh, around the nation, which is gross combination mass increases. Uh, many people will be well aware of gross vehicle mass increases, GVM upgrades, but the whole concept of a GCM upgrade is still quite, quite an unknown to a lot of people, and there's still a lot of misinformation that's going around about this particular topic. This particular video, we're going to focus on what is a gross combination mass increase. So Lovells have been specialising in GCM upgrades for a number of years. Uh, after the GVM upgrade products hit the market, it became quite apparent quite quickly that the GCM is an issue as well for people who tow large things. It's all well and good to fill your car up with stuff to go camping, but if you actually also want to tow a caravan as well, or a big boat or a work trailer, then filling the car up and towing a big thing doesn't work when it comes to the gross combination mass. Gross combination mass increases is always a hot topic right around the country. And the problem is that we have different regulations state to state and versus federally as well. So if you're doing a GVM, GCM upgrade prior to registration, it's called a federal upgrade, and that is then legal to use, sell right around the country. The state governments have got no say in it. If the car is registered, you can still do a Lovells GVM, GCM upgrade. However, there will be different regulations for each state. Um, within South Australia, we're lucky enough we can do GVM, GCM towing upgrades, no problem, and our government is supportive. It's the same in Victoria, New South Wales, and so on. But some of the other states have different rules. And if you're seeking advice, about what upgrades are possible within your jurisdiction, then you really do need to find out someone who is, is certified to be doing upgrades in your particular area. Um, there are commentators on social media who will make big brash statements about you can't do upgrades and so on. Maybe true in Queensland, but it's not true around the rest of the country. Um, and so yeah, seek out your own advice, call a reputable person, seek out your levels agent, ask them what can, what cannot be done in my state. People who have been lucky enough to see us on show stands in South Australia for the last few years will be well aware of this particular poster that we bring along to every, every particular show. The purpose of this poster is to help people understand the GCM aspect and the GVM aspect as well of their upgrades. This particular poster breaks out the particular aspects of the vehicle, the payload or the caravan, and then what happens when you combine them. This particular side here shows the vehicle by itself. So imagine this car is sitting on the scales down at your local landscape centre. Everything in that car, you, your fuel, your payload, all contributes to the weight of this vehicle. And that weight is capped or pegged by the GVM, gross vehicle mass. It's the most this combination is allowed to legally weigh. Okay, moving across to your caravan. Again, same things apply. You have rolled up to your landscape centre, You've unhitched the car, so now the caravan's sitting on its wheels and on its jockey wheel. We're now looking at the ATM of this particular combination, and the ATM will be listed on your uh, compliance plate that's on the caravan, boat, work, trailer, etc. And again, there's a maximum as to what this can weigh, your aggregate tra trailer mass, ATM. Okay, so wh what happens when we actually connect these two together? We back back, connect the car to the caravan. Now all of a sudden, that thing that was holding up the ball is now being carried by the tow bar. And so this is the important thing that many people do not realise, is that when you connect these two things, the weight that was previously here is now part of this. And so the two, three, four hundred kilos is now being borne by the car and the car itself, if you weighed it, is now going to get heavier by that amount of the tow ball weight. And therefore, when we are talking about GVMs, you do need to realise that that tow ball weight forms part of the GVM of the car. So if your car's got a GVM of 3350, for example, that has to include your 300 odd kilos of tow ball weight. This is where, why particular cars have serious issues with their GVMs. Um, if they have a payload of 600, 650 kilos, and you consume half of that with your tow ball, it doesn't leave a lot for you, the family, the luggage, fuel, uh, bull bars, and so on. So that's, that's the issue with the GVM on the car when you connect to the caravan. But also, when you connect all of this, this is your gross combination mass. The combination, your car, your load, how it sits on the way bridge, where is it? Most vehicles will have a 
often not well explained, but they'll definitely have a limit as to what the gross combination mass is. Many of our utes on the market, um, Ranger utes, Hilux utes and so on, will have a GCM of about six tonnes. Um, various other cars may have, have different ratings. So when you're looking at it now, all this weight and all of this weight has to come in under your GCM. Now, if you build yourself an off-road warrior with a heap of gear on your car and then go strap your caravan on the back, very high likelihood you'll go over your GVM and you could also well blow out your GCM. And this is why GCM upgrades are so important because if you've maxed out your car and then go want to go and stick your caravan on the back, um, your GCM may prevent you from doing that. Or it may be a case of you've built up your car, you've got lots of stuff on there, but in order to stay within your GCM, all of a sudden you can only tow two tonnes, for example. Um, and so the aspect of the GCM upgrade is so important in this particular scenario and it's why Lovells have embarked on a big program to focus on GCM upgrades. Um, we'll get into what they do a little bit later. So simple, simple case, GCM upgrade, very important if you want to tow big stuff. If all you do is you just load up your work unit and off you go, not a problem. But if you're towing anything big, you really need to be aware of your GCM and if you have issues with your GCM, um, as in it needs to be increased, then Lovells are the people who can do it for you. And Lovells Adelaide, we're always here to help, but there are other Lovells franchises around the country as well who, uh, who are more than happy to assist. Don't bother trying to freeze frame this. If you're interested to get your own copy, click on the link below and we'll send it to you as a PDF. You can print it out at home, study it, and uh, take it from there to, to work out where your, your GCM is at. So the other aspect is what actually goes into a GCM upgrade? What makes it different to a GVM upgrade? Essentially, it comes down to the testing and validation. To certify, to test and certify a GVM upgrade is relatively easy, and that's why everyone can do it. To up the ante to go to a GCM upgrade is an entirely different kettle of fish again. We have to bring in a load of additional testing and uh, data requirements, and this is where Lovell's really invested heavily quite a number of years ago bringing in aspects of testing from overseas, SAE testing, Society of Automotive Engineers, uh, testing from the OEMs themselves do. They do axle teardown testing, metallurgical testing, dyno testing, big, big trailers um, to simulate, or not simulate, to actually be heavy loads, um, handbrake testing. There's a wide variety of testing required, validation, whether it's on CAD work, CAD modeling, CAD testing, to actually get a GCM across the line. And that's why, at this point in time, Lovells are the only people with GCM upgrades on the market because it's a very onerous amount of investment required to get it done. And Lovells have developed the engineering expertise to do so. So a number of years ago, a working party of all the major uh, suspension companies got together and they, they nutted out as a group, uh, collectively, a, a range of tests and so on that they felt would be appropriate for validating a GCM upgrade. Um, that industry collaboration, um, the information was put to the governments, um, state governments are now accepting that if you've done all these particular things, we're happy to sign off on GCM upgrades. Not all state governments, coming back to my earlier point that uh, some still um, are reticent about doing this kind of thing, but probably the majority of state governments now do allow GCM upgrades if you're following these particular procedures to validate the engineering, the longevity, the safety of, of doing this kind of upgrade. So how does a GVM upgrade or a GCM upgrade vary from a lift kit? Sure, you can go down, you can shop a catalogue and get a heap of parts, whack it in, off you go. But that doesn't make it a legal upgrade. In order for it to be a legal upgrade, you need to be able to demonstrate to the government that you've have done the upgrade and you've gone through a barrage of tests to prove the safety stability, braking performance, acceleration performance, um, and ride comfort obviously as well, stability handling. There's a whole barrage of tests that go behind to certify that if I take this product and this product and this product, fit it to my vehicle, then it's a safe outcome. Grabbing a bunch of parts out of catalogue does not satisfy that condition for a government. Hence, GVM upgrades, they're regulated, they can only be done through certified centres such as Lovells Adelaide, and there is a lot of engineering know-how and science behind them to validate them. And the government accept that proof and allow you to upgrade 